Hello. We've got ourselves a match, and it is the uh, the dreaded mirror match. Uh, but we are the overdog, so let's have a look. I'm guessing they are not very set up yet. Only one bull. Hmm. Oh, they do have an agility. Oh, he's a plus agility. He he could not avoid the temptation. How many games he played? Okay, four. He's won all of them. Where wow. he won that one. 5-1? Wow, that's crazy. That is interesting. And, uh, yeah, okay. So, looks like he might be solid. So he's not really that many games behind us, it's just that his team maybe lost a bull at some point. Um, but it's pretty nicely set up. It's not, it's actually pretty similar to us. He's just lacking a couple of skills here and there. But he's got a guard and a mighty blow. He's got a sure hand, so in that sense. We've got a wrestle. Um, we have the extra bull. I guess the extra bull is the, is the main difference. So you can a bribe and zarg. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so not too much difference between these two. Well, at least the kits are a nice different color. There's Zag, he's scary. I forget what he has. I've used him a bunch of time. I feel like I've used him. Maybe I've used the dwarf equivalent, because I don't know if he would play for anybody else. I guess we'll offend. Uh, what does he have? No block, but he does have tackle. Sure hands. Agility 3. He's basically... Weirdly... No, he's not really anything. He's strength 4 as well. What a weird player. But he's secret weapon, maybe? Yeah. He's leaving them on the bench, which, honestly, with the strength 4, I'm kind of happy about. I feel like having him on... I mean, we're not going to try and score quick, right? So... Uh, I don't mind seeing him on the bench. Because it gives us more, you know, more hobgoblins to hit in the meantime. He might change his mind about that. I understand why, because he's a secret weapon. It's pretty good. I think he's cheap as well. Pass. Hail Mary. Pass. Strong arm, strength 4 and agility 3 and armor value 9 is all very solid. He's not really in anything, like, he's one of those players that's pretty unique. You know, a lot of players are sort of like, well that's just a such and such, but, you know. I suppose you could argue, no. You could sort of argue he's like a dwarf runner, but he has, like, for a dwarf runner, he has plus strength and tackle and then he has some pass skills but the plus strength tackle and the arm value nine so he's not really like a dwarf runner at all this is an interesting formation uh okay so gotta get my head around what's going on here Still only have the two skills, right? Yeah, we do. Got the Hobgobos back. I guess we might put our other Chaos Dwarfs on the line just in case there's like a perfect defense situation going on. Oh, we should probably just put these guys in there anyway. Okay. Squeeze these ones in one, and then I think we're done. Alright. 
Yeah, this is uh, an unusual formation. Or at least by my experience. Gets the blitz. It's a very deep kick. So this is just going to be useful in terms of uh, applying a bit of pressure and getting a hit. But it's not going to be ball getting. It, the plus agility ball center isn't bad. Uh, he does need to be watched because he can actually in a pinch dodge away. But he doesn't have dodge or break. I mean obviously break tackle. Okay. So maybe he should have put this guy here, because then he could have gone one, two, three, boom, whereas now he has to go in the outside to avoid the guard. Which always sucks, because you're about to roll, you know, roll one. Okay, he didn't roll one, and he dub, uh, dub, whatever you call that. Is he going to get the reward? Okay, no permanent reward there. Which is nice. So that's all the blocking that's going to happen on the splits. So he, he didn't try and make any room. That's interesting. It's kind of giving us a hit on the on the bull. But I suppose he wants to put some pressure over here. We can kind of adjust over. Got some Bob Gobbos free at the back just to, to lend support. So we're going to drop this guy around just as a safety measure. We're going to pick this guy up. Then what I'd like to do, if uh, the dice will allow, then they will. Uh... Yeah, let's follow that. Is it just our guard in here? And then that really shores up this side a lot. That means I don't have to bring this guy all the way down over here. I think we'll drop this guy here. And that'll give us a two dice there. Not getting many knockdowns, but I suppose as long as we're sort of clearing them away, that's good in and of itself. Kind of. It's going to push him back into our guard. Oh, this is still a one dice now. Yeah, I should have seen that. I guess if we do this, it becomes two dice. Forgot I was on guard. Okay, that's nice. Draw hands. Don't need it. I think we're just going to come to here for now and see where we're at after this turn. I want to see how much he's going to try and break through here. We do have the movement to get all the way back up to the line next turn. This gives us a chance to adjust to whatever he's going to throw at us in attack. I would say a pretty bad start on our part. You know, a combination of the blitz, letting him reposition and choose his blocks, and just rolling a lot of pushes is not the best. Does get that guy down. Yeah, this is what I'm not sure about. Is he going to be able to break something through here? I mean, not easily. Interesting that he just left these guys back here. So that's now one dice. Is he going to bring both of them over? Yeah, okay.
I wonder if he's going to blitz through this guy. Might blow on the ball centaur. Oh, he moved. So, no. Not unless he's going to one dice it. Yeah, he's got some one dice options, but that's about it at this stage. I mean, he could, you know, make this a two dice by bringing this guy around, but obviously that's leaving a whole goblin on the side of the field, which is a little scary. He doesn't have anywhere to put an assist to make this a two dice, so I feel like this guy's gonna... Okay, that wasn't what I was expecting. Is he gonna... He can't foul, can he? One, two, three... Six. No, I don't think he... He's fouling with a Chaos... Oh, he's got a bribe. Okay, okay. He's fouling with his guard, though, so... I mean, it's likely to be fine. I suppose if he gets a bull out, he'll feel pretty good about it. Looking for a one. Okay, the bribe worked, so... I mean, the... Yeah, the bribe worked, so... That's uh, saved him his guard, but... Uh, that's the bribe gone. Is nice. Oh, one dicing this. Kind of has to reroll that. Yeah, I'm going to wrestle that. We could try and surf this guy, but... Like, obviously this guy is... Yeah, not going to be a huge problem. Just stand him up, because he's kind of doing a good job as he is. Try and decide if I want to hit this guy. Yeah, I guess so. Follow. Very nice. You can try this. Very nice. So it looks like we're coming this way. <laughs> Most likely. Uh. That's a pity. We'll tuck in there. Pull him up a little bit. I think we'll drop this guy over to here. We'll pull this guy up to here. And then we'll pull this guy in just as a back protection. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, he could technically get around there, so let's do that, because that that kind of kills that off. I guess there's going to be a lot of pushes this game. It's the nature of the beast. Kaboom. Okay, so nothing really exciting there. But we did at least uh, shore up a, an avenue. Oh, that's double GFIs there. What? Why? Yeah, that's that's all I have really to say on that on the matter of that. Why? Why? I mean, he can bring these guys back over now and really uh, be a bit of a pain over here, I'll, I'll admit.
could blitz the back here with the hobgobos to try and pressure the back end. Might be what he's doing. I thought maybe he was going to blitz this guy up, and that's why the double GFIs. Oh, no, he didn't do Okay, so he is blitzing there. Just pushes, so he's not going to... Well, he wasn't going to free himself up anyway. Oh, and he's pushed our guard into his guy here, which is nice. He's not going to try and dodge out of there, is he? So our guards are in nice places now for getting hits. Makes one dodge. Is he just going to... Okay. Why? Well, makes two dodges. I mean, the temptation to surf now is, is strong. Okay, he did get his guard in, but I think we can just pop that out. Oh, unless this happens, in which case we could be in big trouble. Okay. Okay, so now we've got to be a little bit careful here. I mean, it's only so careful we can be. Uh, let's see. <laughs> and now we get the knockdown. Okay, armor break is great, because it means I can reposition the bull, and I can reposition this hobgoblin. Uh-oh, where do we want the bull? Do you have a potential hit there? I guess here? Very nice. Gonna follow that. Sweet, okay. Got a one die, like a few one dice options. Get some ineffective hits on the hobgobos. Guess we can push up one into here, at least, for this turn. Oh, I do have that. Okay. Oh, dear. Well, we quad scold over the course of that turn, which so... Just as well we've got the two stuns near our ball carrier, because everything else went wrong. Yeah, that was rough. But I'm glad it wasn't this block that we dub scold, because that would have left the path right inside. That's kind of why I was leaving it till last. Probably need to try to find a way to push out next turn, if at all possible. Whilst he's got these two. Obviously, we, we might have some armor breaks as well, but while his centaur is stunned and one of his hobgobos, obviously his movement of his team is not the best. Pretty well positioned there. It's only turn... So we, we're actually not super far into the game, so... Not sort of panic stations yet, but obviously that was a rough turn. The, our guy being stunned is unfortunate as well.
He's not afraid to roll some dice. Okay, so he's going for a hit here. Gets it. Just keeping our guard locked up there, I guess. Never mind, he's freed up our guard. <laughs> but he has knocked the, the center down, so, you know. Overall, good. Thought he might be fouling, but it doesn't seem like it. Okay, you're free. I think you're going to have to just get up and take one for the team here. I think you're going to also be just getting up. Get some mighty blow on that hobgoblin. A stun is a stun. Uh, I'm not going to push that. Actually, maybe I should pop him in here. Because that way I can get around the corner. Okay, that's a nice dodge. Alright. Alright. This is one of those games where everything's a little bit uh, nervy. That was definitely a case of he's just sort of taking it to take it. We do kind of have the angle to get his guys up here blocked off unless he gets, uh, unless he pushes through with a, a block, of, a blitz of some kind, or puts an assist in to get a block. Even if he does that, this guy's kind of in the way, so he'd kind of have to want to get rid of both these players to free up these guys to come back around. Now he does have his guard in here, so uh, this is a little bit scary, but we do have both our bull centaurs as well, so... You know, there's some good things. Okay, his centaur is away from the action as well, which I like. And just a push there is is sweet, because that keeps this guy tied up. He might leave this guy where he is. No, he's following. Okay. 
So I don't know if he's going to... Maybe he's going to blitz over here to get through. It's not a bad idea. Might try one dices. Okay, so I think what he's going to do is blitz here and then get this guy over and around the top. Yeah, this guy's coming up. Yeah? No. Yeah, he probably is. He was just he was just looking at the foul. Then he can start to do some work over here. Hopefully not enough work, but we'll see. Well, it's a good start. Oh, still, that's a two dice now as well. Is that a two dice? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God. Then he can one dice this guy if he's feeling... Uh... Oh, boy. Oof. Oof. Oh, that was his mighty blow in fairness. Does he follow this one? He does, okay. That's a risky block. Yeah, that does allow us to do this. Oof, too many pushes this half. We're going to stay because I'd rather keep this guy locked up in some ways. That kind of potentially frees up this guy. Oh, very disappointing. Very disappointing. I'm not ready to run yet. But here we are doing plays that we really shouldn't be. One, two, three, four. I wanted to hit the Hobgoblin, which would have broken his armor, but I also, the problem was I wanted to follow through so I could mark this guy up as well, so that's kind of why we did what we did there. We do have a bad, some bad rolls here to make, make up for the greed. GFIs earlier. I don't think we've even hit many um, one dices, have we? I think we've been very conservative and just hit two dices. So he's going to two dice this and then maybe one dice the ball. And we're not going to have a lot that can really do much about it, unfortunately. So this could be trouble here. So 
see if we get knocked down. So it's a, what, 5 plus, 5 plus, so 50-50 to knock us over? Well, if, no, because he can take both downs as well. Oh, never mind. Okay. Don't know that I can free anybody up here, unfortunately. You have guard, you don't. Okay, that frees up one guy. That's unfortunate. Okay. So the question is, are we just going to blitz this guy off and over? I think we are. Yeah, we should have seen that coming. Well, I did see it coming. I just hoped it wasn't going to be the case. I mean, that is not in any way safe. Yeah, I think I'd rather have that guy fail that than this guy fail that. It's not great though, honestly. Maybe I should have just dodged the bull- maybe I should have done a bull dodge and blitzed him off the- that's what I should have done. I mean, it's- it's high risk, but the reward is greater, right? Yeah, I think I think we've had a little rough treatment this half from the from the old dice, but you know, it's gotta it's gotta hang in there and hope hopefully it turns around. Okay. Reroll. Gets us down. Oh. Stop. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what the thing is with... with uh, enemy teams just catching the ball off scatters constantly. Gave them three chances there. It's crazy. Okay, that's nice. Any non-knockdowns we can get are uh, a blessing here. Kind of half expected this guy to dodge off and either become a scoring threat or some such. Doesn't really have any good blocks here now. Because of guard. Could one dice one of them. 
We might just dodge this guy away. No problem. Yeah, dodge the sky out for a scoring threat. Can't hit this because of this guy. I suppose we could one dice it. See what happens. There we go. That allows me to cancel all these assists. These will be pushes. No, okay. Um, hmm. I think we're going to push him to the side. Gonna follow as well, just to just in case the ball kind of goes here. Okay, it went off. That's kind of what we expected, or at least it seemed like quite a likely option. Got to reroll this, I think. We've got to try and give ourselves the chance of this guy being able to do something, unlikely as it is. I think that gives us another shot here. Yes it does. Follow that, because this guy could still technically be useful next turn, whereas this guy's kind of out of range. So we're not likely to score here, but there's a chance, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I wish we still had the reroll in hand, but I think getting this guy here was worth putting in the reroll overall. And if nothing else, uh, he's not going to score now, I suspect. Not guaranteed, he could pop this guy down just in case. I think I'd be doing that first. Unusually. Making some random blocks first. Classic uh, dwarf, I'm not sure what to do tactics. Which is fine until you roll a dub skull and then you're like, why did I do those blocks? They weren't even necessary. Uh, I wish his dodging was worse. Maybe it will be second half. Yeah, I 
I think honestly we've we've had a bit of a rough half. I think we we kind of played okay, but we've had the the lion's share of the of the worst dice. He's he's forgot to move this guy down, which is nice. Uh, we could still theoretically score. I'm doing all of these because there's no... oh. I was going to say, there's no reroll, so it's not like we're going to not try them. Double one, so it didn't matter what we did there, it was, it was going to fail, so it's all good. Yeah, he's knocked us over more than we've knocked him over as well, which, you know, in a, in a match like this is, is huge, because... If you can get your opponent to roll some pushes on your Chaos Dwarfs, that's very handy. And we've had we've had a number of turns where we've just pushed a few of him and then got stunned back in return. Um, but we didn't go in at a deficit, so... I'm saying confidently. Yeah. So, you know, there's, there's defending to be done. There's the dub skull, which it always comes when you <laughs> when when you're having a rough half, but for rolling dub skulls, they they manage to roll one like right when it doesn't matter, and it's like, well, I I mean I could have done that too. Um, anyways, it's a it's a new half. Nobody's out. Let's see what we can do. Um, I guess we do the normal setup. And see what he does. He might try and score really fast so, so that at worst it's a draw. Or he might try and stall it out. And, uh, you know, go for the, the late score. Time will tell. It's been an interesting one. Bringing in Barrack now, we'll see what influence he has. Obviously Strength 4 is nice, but Loner with no block is a potentially uh, could could prove important. Oh, is he going to carry on? No, he's not going to carry on him, is he? I mean, I suppose he could, but then... Yeah, I don't know about the carrying on him. He doesn't have any defensive skill. I mean, I guess neither does the Hobgoblin, but he could be helping protect the Hobgoblin just by his mere strength 4 presence. would be very useful. What's his movement? 4? Yeah. I mean, he does have a couple of nice skills that the Hobgoblin doesn't have, but you don't really want to use them. Strong arm. Uh... Hail Mary, pass. You don't really want to be using any of those skills. Oh, he gets an extra reroll as well. That's that's a pity.
So we'll see, uh, see what happens. Successful line blocks. I wonder what the blitz is going to be. I wonder if it's going to be a bull centaur blitz around the corner on our movement guy. Probably. Okay, there goes a Chaos Dwarf. Not much we can do about that. I guess we'd rather have the Centaur. Uh, in this half than the Chaos Dwarf, so... There's that, but that's a, that's a huge, uh, huge attritional blow. And here comes the Blitz. Okay, this game just got a lot harder. Really good turn for him. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be tough to recover from, but we'll see how his attacking is. He's such an aggressive player. He's got four rerolls though. This is this is a this is a tough situation. I mean, we could blitz through onto the ball here. Nope, never mind, we can't. <laughs> Ooh, our team is looking really bare bones right now. This, this could really begin to tell. Well, that's what this it's basically the start that we need to have on our half and <laughs> getting a chaos to wolf out and maybe uh getting a getting a decent blitz but it wasn't to be problem is the guard's gonna tell for less now on our side because uh because he's gonna just be able to reinforce with more guys he's got got that going. Getting through onto the ball would have been really helpful there, uh, just in terms of pressurizing, making him come back. Okay, we might need to do some uh, some danger plays now, because this is in a dangerous state. And he did that in the first half and it kind of worked a bit, so we may be in that same boat. Gotta remember that this guy's strength four though. That is that is a problem, but he can move forward slowly. He can afford to do that. He's got a whole half and we're down three players. Yeah. The funny thing is he's got four wins, right? And I mean he may be about to get his fifth win here. And the the funny thing about it is it just doesn't feel like that should be the case. It's interesting.
Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Probably gonna re-roll that. Yep. Where's his guard? Oh, no, that's ours. This is there, okay. I wonder if he's gonna foul this. He is, okay, okay. Well, the plan sort of worked, but it's a uh, two dice against. Yeah, it's not with us. It's not with us. I'd have rerolled that too, uh, if we'd had the chance. Because obviously our, our chances of getting back in the game are getting so slim that we've got to make something happen. This, this is very painful. And we're getting armor broken all over. We had, what, two stuns that turn? We're getting stunned like every, every other turn. So it's just trying to make, make something happen. Make, you know. And if, you know, if we get the ball free, then there's chances of wackiness. Uh, we could have brought this guy through if it advanced nicely. Picked it up and punted it down the field or something. Tried to put the ball back in his half, you know, see if we can run a centaur down there or something. It's unlikely, but you can kind of, like, when we lost those first two, I could feel the writing on the wall. And so, you know, when you, sometimes when you feel that, you've got to make, you, you got to uh, try and force the issue some. Because we're not elves, we can't re, you know, we can't regroup. Not, not in the way that elves can, where they can reposition and try and, you know, blitz into the cage or something like that. Like, that's not, that's not really an option. So you've got to try and force something with these guys. Because otherwise, uh, the numbers are just going to count. Like, this is just, this, this is what I mean. And it'll, you know, this is kind of how it's going to go from this point. Uh, I'm still willing to try some crazy stuff, but it's going to get harder and harder. That's why we went for it then. In case you're wondering why we made that play. You know, and I didn't make... It wasn't crazy. It was a one dice, a two dice, and then a two dice against with, with Wrestle. So it, even that wasn't a, a crazy play. It's just not a optimal play, right? We've, we're out of the realms of trying to two dice stuff. I mean, he's trying to give the game to us, but it's not working. I mean, if the foul doesn't work, maybe we can pressure him into scoring? The fouls have just been relentlessly effective.
or just like this, but it's the only way I've got a chance of getting this guy free. I need to move him so I can dodge away. I don't think I'm going to make him score, but it's all we've got at this point, is just trying desperately. I'd have loved this guy not to have got uh, stunned, so we could have tried to dodge him out as well. <sighs> and, I, you know, hopefully I'm not sounding, I, you know... I, I may be sounding a bit too whiny, but hopefully I'm not sounding too whiny. I'm just, uh... What's the word, uh... Lamenting... Lamenting the difficulties of getting back into a game that, you know, where you, you guys have kind of gone out a little bit. I mean, the death is obviously, uh, you know, uh, sad, but, I mean, we can instantly replace him, so, in that sense, that's not the worst, worst part of it, the worst part of the result, it, which is why I appoed the, uh, the bull center in the first half, was to try and maximize our ability to stay in the game second half. See, every time he does this, it gives us a slight chance if he rolls... Okay, never mind. If he rolls both downs or pushes or something, then, you know, he's potentially in, in contact with us. I guess he's going to run back in the corner now. Could do with some uh, both downs here just to keep his guys locked in position. Well, actually, a both downs there would have been turnover, so that would have been great. Could have just blitzed this guy and then come down. Two both downs here would be sweet. Nope, okay. Gonna pop him here. All right, so same again. I think this time we just blitz here and try and get this guy involved. Anything but a skull, and we're good. I don't even mind saying it. Okay, that's a good amount of pressure. Not enough, but a decent amount. Actually, maybe it is enough. A lot of his team is quite far back on the field. We'll see. We got four KOs. Or it might pressure this might pressure him into a mistake as well. Like he can get this guy down. So I imagine what's going to happen is he's going to block here. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. I guess he can block here and get this guy down, actually. Yeah, so that's what he's going to do. But, I think it's going to be hard to... Well, 
Hang on, he hasn't blitzed. So yeah, he'll probably bring this down, block here, move this guy across, blitz him, and then run back down, I imagine. But it might be an easier dodge off blitz for us to attempt. So yeah, it's, it's as predicted. Down we go, would have preferred pushes there. Let's see where he goes this time. Extra nice. Stay. So now he's going to have to roll some more dice. He probably didn't need to push as far and as hard as he did, as fast as he did. I'm guessing he's gonna uh, hit here, free this guy to come down, and then he can two- okay, he's just gonna use that guy, fair enough. If he could not knock us over, that'd be sweet. Nice. Oh, oh, this could be it. No, not quite. Just one skull. So I guess this guy's coming over. Which is exciting, eh? Oh, he didn't bring this guy down. So we do have an outlet here. He's drawing a lot of stuff that doesn't matter, and, and it's not hurting him, unfortunately. <laughs> um, it'd be nice if it did. But imagine if he used his reroll up here, and then he's got to bring this guy in. So imagine he brings this guy in, he blitzes, and then runs over here. We could have done with a stun on the Hobgoblin, that would have really helped. So this could now go wrong. It's not going to, but you gotta you gotta hope and dream. Yep. He's free to come all the way over here. He's probably gonna get to he could go all the way to the edge. I don't know if it's worth it to be honest. Because he kinda gets out of his own range of his other players. So he's probably as good there as he is anywhere else.
Ooh, I wonder if he just realized this guy is here. This is the best chance he's given us. 50-50 to get away, and then it's, uh... Useless. Yeah, we've we've not had the run of the armor breaks, have we? <laughs> the more blocks he rolls up here, the better for us, honestly, at this stage. I think I'd have brought this guy over here, because this guy can't really reach. And you could have blitzed with one of the guys that wasn't the ball carrier. I guess he's confident about his blitzing. Double both downs would keep things very interesting, though. Like, we're, we're looking for both downs and skulls. Not just skulls. Both downs are also problematic. Even pushes aren't the best. He's just not... he just... Oh, he's so horribly comfortable with what's happening down here and it's, it's painful that we can't make him regret that. <laughs> This is not a comfortable situation, despite despite what it looks like. Just a push, so that makes it that makes it difficult to flee us. No fear. I mean, we're only doing these ridiculous plays because we don't have much choice. Now the question is, should I... No, I don't think I should. In fact, I think this guy should just get up. Well, you know what? We we gave it everything, <laughs> and it didn't matter.
Rough game, rough game. But you know what? Like... <clears throat> I think we put up a reasonable fight considering how poor, poor the situation went for us. I don't want to blame it entirely di on DICE, but I do kind of want to blame it entirely on DICE. But yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't feel outplayed. Let's put it like that. I think it was a, a more even contest than that. I feel like we did what we could, but like the armor rolls just did not go how we'd have chosen. Setting up for the riot because results are all that matter. I mean, well, SPP does matter, but you know, it's it's secondary. Okay, so we don't get that. Uh, what are we gonna go for here? Go for this splits because an injury for this guy would be very helpful. Hey, look at that! I mean, he's oh, he's no, he's not dead because he he never even had to use his apo. He's got a miss next. We'll take it. Yeah, excellent. So we live with a bull. Which is uh, pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, we don't really care about leveling the hobgoblins. So I think we'll try the foul first. In case we run into this guy immediately after. And then we'll try for an outrageous throw. Because an SPP on this guy wouldn't be bad. Oh, we haven't blue-screened yet. Oh, look at that. Okay. We got some consolation out at the end there. We leveled a bull and we got a bull one injury away from leveling, so... From a horrific match, we at least got that. Now, is our dead guy gonna get MVP? No, we leveled another ghost off as well. Wow, his guy got... I wonder what he's going to do with that guy. I kind of want to know. Uh, so yeah, he, he double armor broke us. He probably got more blocks. He did get more blocks. Um, but not double blocks, right? And obviously he got more blocks partially because of all of the... Like, this... I, I feel like I've been going about the whole time, but this is, and this are the problem. And remember, this this wasn't here. So it's really just this. Seven uh, things versus zero was the problem. It made the it made the second half kind of a formality. Uh, it kind of made this the first half a big struggle as well. Um, yeah, yeah, that's. It's kind of kind of how I feel about it, but uh, you know maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, he did roll a lot more of the old. I mean, for what it's worth, he did roll more of the old pairs than the uh, the skulls. But that's only worth so much, because it all, all depends what they're with, right? Okay, so that is our second loss, which is a bit of a blow because we were on a real, uh, we were on a real roll there. Uh, but let's see what we get, and we can afford another guy, at least. So a four, so we're gonna get more guard. 
because we need to be the reason I'm getting more guard before I get mighty blow is um it's gonna help us against the higher strength teams that we really struggle against. And the mirror matches, honestly. Uh so what are we gonna get for the centaur? Break tackle, I guess. Yeah. Okay, solid. And then we get another another Chaos Dwarf for next game, and we'll be set to go. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you next time, and bye for now.